We've already seen how AmeriCorps members in Michigan are helping kids learn, providing food to families in need, and reducing crime in urban neighborhoods. As we will see in the next video, Michigan's AmeriCorps members are also striving to end homelessness in our state by reducing the number of foreclosures and helping to keep Michigan families in their homes. Foreclosure is not just devastating to that particular family, but it's also devastating to the community that they live in. Housing values go down. We've seen cities that have had to drastically alter their budgets. The Michigan Foreclosure Prevention Corps is a group of 20 AmeriCorps members who are addressing the foreclosure issue in the state of Michigan. They are kind of the first person that a client sees when they need help with foreclosure. Um, they also do outreach um, and education about foreclosure in their local communities. Wow, it's been a fantastic opportunity for us. Paul Stanford, who is our current member, was our first member with the Foreclosure Prevention Corps. He joined us in October and at the time we did not actually have full-time foreclosure prevention services at Community Housing Network. So basically my job here was to start the AmeriCorps uh, will start the foreclosure prevention program at Community Housing Network. They decided to hire a AmeriCorps member and also a housing counselor to begin the program. When the program first started here, we, we were getting flooded with a lot of calls. One of the first main people that called me, she contacted us and her share cell was you know, three weeks away. So what we did is we jumped right on it. We ended up getting, being able to get that share cell postponed. After that, she ended up receiving a permanent loan modification, and it was very reasonable for her. So she, she called us, you know, thankful, thanked us, you know, and it's only a department of two of us, so she thanked both of us uh, individually, so it was really a great opportunity. And these AmeriCorps members answering the phones and going to community meetings and churches and knocking on doors really connected thousands of Michigan homeowners uh, facing a very scary future with foreclosure to the resources they need uh, at foreclosure counseling organizations. We could not work with as many people in foreclosure prevention as we do if were it not for our AmeriCorps member. Paul really handles all of the front end work and we are anticipating that Paul is going to join us in October 1st as a foreclosure prevention counselor down in our Wayne office. It's been a huge success for homeowners in uh, Oakland and Macomb counties and I'm excited to do the same for people out in Wayne County also. In addition to the Michigan Foreclosure Prevention Corps, there are other AmeriCorps programs working on housing throughout the state of Michigan. There was an apartment complex and the owner had not been paying his taxes to the city, um, but the, rent it, the tenants were. So one day we got a call from the mayor saying that the, the city had shut off the water and the electricity for the apartment complex. It was a complete shock for the people living there because they did, you know, they've been paying everything on time like they thought, you know, they were just kind of getting by. And so I kind of took it upon myself to make sure that these people got rehoused and we got the funds for them and um, it was a successful program and a lot of those people are happily housed right now. Over a period of three months, um, we worked with her with uh, housing searches and trying to find someone that would rent to her with her limited income and getting her back into mental health services. And so we just recently housed her last week and she was just so overjoyed. Yesterday we went to see her, we took her some small household items and she made the comment that God had dropped angels out of heaven to help her. And I said, no, we're not angels, we're just good people trying to help out. 